G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is a very special video. We're going to be looking at how to multiply mentally, how to multiply big numbers mentally. So bear with us, you might look at the parts of it and say, say hey, I can do this much faster with a pen and paper. But this isn't about trying to multiply with a pen and paper. This is actually trying to get you eventually multiplying mentally, which is where the real uh, challenge lies a lot of the time. Okay, so I'm going to start this off with an example. Let's uh, get you doing this one. What is uh, a nice easy one to start off with? 3021, and we're going to times that by 3. So the answer that you should get for this is 9063. Did you get that answer? You know what? I reckon you probably did. And I'll show you how I reckon you probably got that, how I think you probably got that. Okay, I would expect the way you've done that is you would do this, because you're doing this a written method, you would go 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times nothing is nothing, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. Now look, that's nice and easy if you're doing it on paper, but it does become a little bit harder all of a sudden when you're not able to actually see the numbers. Okay, and in a second I'm going to actually, uh, I'll give you one without the numbers, then I'll actually write it down and we'll work through how your mind might want to get reprogrammed, because I do this slightly differently. Instead, what we tend to do is we tend to work out questions this way, from right to left. Whereas, what we actually, when we think of numbers, we actually think about them this way. Okay, we don't think about this number being 3 and 60 and 9,000, we think about this as 9,063. And this is the challenge with multiplying mentally, is to turn the way around that you currently uh, work your multiplication so you think about them in the way that you actually think about them, okay? In, the, in that particular way, rather than actually working against the way your mind naturally wants to work. Okay, so the way that I would do this is a little bit different. And this is what I mean with how we have to change the way that we are work. We do this. We times this by 3, but instead what we would do is we would go 3 times 3 is 9, 0, 3 times 2 is 6, 3, okay? And we're actually working this in the way that we actually, you know, you, that you think the number, okay? I'll give you another example. So I'll rub this out, and then I'm going to ask you, for example, to work out what is uh, 51,231 times 3, okay? So... You, it's quite hard if you are if if you're not used to doing it in that direction. So the answer, by the way, is one hundred and fifty three thousand six hundred and ninety three. Okay, let's uh, I'll write that down. So let's I'm going to write the question down first. Um, fifty one thousand two hundred and thirty one. It was times three. So the way we do it is this. 3 times 5 is 15. We put that down. So we're going from left to right. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. You see, we're, we're working this way. And this is the trick to mental calculations, mental multiplication. So uh, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to start getting probably comments, people saying, this is hard, this is not what I'm used to, because it's not what you're used to. But then again, you also might realise that the method you're used to is no good for mental multiplication. So this is, it does take a bit of practice, but this is the way to do it mentally. This is, well, one of the ways to do it mentally. So I'm going to give you a another one now. What about we deal with, uh, hopefully you do pretty good with this, um, what about we do a different one here, what about we do something say like uh, 61,413, I'll write that number down, 61,413 and we'll times that number by 4. Now from now on, rather than saying them, I'm going to actually, you know, so Without actually writing it down, you might go 4 times 6 is 24, 1 times 4 is 4, but then the 16, wait a sec, how are you going to deal with this carry here? What? You say? I don't even know what just went on. I'll explain to you slowly what the problem will be here. Okay, so when we're doing this, we have a bit of a problem, because what we do is we go 6 times 4 is 24, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, wait a second, that means we're going to have to carry something, so we're going to put the 6 there. And we're going to carry the 1, so this is going to become a 5. 
1 times 4 is 4, and then 3 4s are 12. So the 2 is going to go there, and the 1 is going to get carried across. And that will also become a 5. Now, the carrying all of a sudden can become a bit of a problem when we talk about mental calculation, because carrying numbers in your head tends to throw things a little bit. What we tend to have to do is we have to carry as we go, but we also have to start doing this little thing which I call pre-carrying, okay? It just involves glancing at the next part of your answer to, to work out what uh, what your, your current answer will be. I'll show you what I mean by this, okay? And we'll go through a couple of examples with this. So say, for example, I do uh, this one here, 31,616, and I times this number by 4. Okay. I work through how this concept of pre-carrying works. So first off we do this 3 times 4 and we get the answer of 12 but before I write down 12 I look at the next part of the answer and I go 1 times 4 the answer's below 10 I'm not going to have to carry anything so I can put down my 12. If I did have to carry something I'd carry it across and put that as part of my answer and you'll see how I mean on this one it's right now. 1 times 4 is 4 so I quickly look at the next part and 6 4 is a 24 24, I'm going to have to carry this 2. Okay, so this is what I'm going to pre-carry. I'm going to pre-carry it across. So if 1 times 4 is 4, plus that 2 from the next part is going to be 6. Okay. Alright, we'll see how we go with that. Um, so the next one was 6 times 4 is 24. We've already written down that 2 there. We've pre-carried that. The number afterwards is 1 times 4. We're not going to have to carry anything across, so I can just put down that 4. Okay. For our 1 times 4, I look at the next part, okay, and that's 6 times 4 is 24, I'm going to have to pre-carry 2 across, okay, so 1 times 4 is 4, plus 2 is 6, okay, did you get that? And then the last part, well, the, that's just going to be whatever that units part was going to be, you know, 6 4s or 24, so that's how, where that 4 goes down, but this is the concept of pre-carrying, okay? And it's a, it's a, the biggest part of this trick is to be able to get the pre-carry right, okay? If you can get the pre-carry right, you're really on the way to getting these mentally uh, correct. So, what about I give you another example? Okay. Uh, we'll write this one down. Um, what about, for instance, 21,000... 613 and we times that by 5 okay just going to make sure we're going to get some numbers where we are going to have to carry and pre-carry things across okay so first off what we do going from left to right 2 times 5 is 10 now we look at 1 times 5 no pre-carry so I can put down my 10 okay I'll put a little tick there to show that's where I've done it okay 1 times 5 okay that's going to be 5 and I'm going to have to pre-carry 6 times 5, 30. I'm going to have to pre-carry 3, okay? Because 6 times 5 is 30. I'm going to have to pre-carry 3. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3, okay, is going to be 8. Alright, I'll take that one off. 6 times 5 is 30. We've already pre-carried the 3, so I've got that 0. And then 1 times 5. I'm not going to have to pre-carry anything. So, with that, I can put down the 0 from the 30. Okay, I've already pre-carried the 3, that, that one done. 1 times 5 is 5, and then I'll look at the next one, 3 times 5 is 15, I'm going to have to pre-carry, you guessed it, 1, okay? Because 3 5s are 15, I'm going to have to pre-carry the 1 off the 15. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, and then what I do is I put down that last bit, which was that 5. How did you go with that? Did you get that answer? Did you get... 108,065. Hopefully, you'll be able to actually uh, start seeing how to do this. It's all a matter of working out the pre-carry. Okay? Is it easy? At the start, no. This does require practice. And what I'd recommend is you would start with smaller numbers to, st to start off with. Okay? You would start with, say, something uh, I like. You know, something like, uh, possibly, you know, what about 400 and 23 and we're going to times that by 4 okay so that's a good one because it's a nice three digit it's not too huge 
4 times 4 is 16, 2 times 4 is 8, so it's less than 10, so I can put down the 16, I can think 16, I can keep that in my head, 2 times 4 is 8, uh, 3 times 4 is 12, I'm going to have to pre-carry that one, so it's going to be a 9 and a 2. How'd you go with that? Hopefully pretty good. Anyway, see how you go with that. Before you start getting upset and saying you despise this method or whatever like that, give it a fair go because this is trying to reprogram your mind and so you are, you will actually be able to do this mentally, okay? But don't expect that it's going to come to you in three seconds flat, okay? This does take a little bit of practice. Sometimes this does take a little bit of practice, these sorts of things. Anyway, with a bit of practice, your mental math will get faster. Good luck on that. Anyway, thanks. See ya.